relation between continuous time, unit impulse signal, unit step signal and unit ramp signal. Let us now see what the relation is. A unit impulse signal is mathematically defined as its value is equal to infinite at t is equal to 0 and for other values of t, the magnitude of the signal is 0 and this is how the signal is given graphically. It is present only where t is 0. So it is present only here. Next is, now the important property that is related to the unit impulse signal is when we take the integration of the unit impulse signal throughout the time duration, it is equal to 1. Now, to derive a relationship between unit impulse and unit step signal, let us try and put a limit on this integration. Now, when I am putting a limit on this integration, I am integrating it from minus infinity to t. Now, there are two possible cases with this. The first case is when t is lying left to t is equal to 0. When t is lying left to t is equal to 0, that means it is not including the unit impulse signal. So, it is only till here. So, when it is not including the unit impulse signal, therefore the integration result that we will get will be 0. In the second case, t is lying right to this t is equal to 0 axis. When t is lying right to t is equal to 0 axis, so that means it is including the unit impulse signal. When it is including the unit impulse signal, the integration result will have will be equal to 1. So what we have here is integration of del t dt from minus infinity to t. When t is smaller than 0, the result will be equal to 0 because then it is not including the unit impulse function. When t is greater than or equal to 0, since it then includes the unit impulse function, therefore the integration result will be equal to 1. And from the definition of unit step signal, what we have is ut is equal to 1 for t greater than or equal to 0. That means this statement. And ut equal to 0 for t less than 0. That means this statement. Therefore, this integration can define our unit step signal which is then equal to ut. Therefore, from the above analysis what we have is integration of minus infinity to t for del t will give us u of t. That means when we integrate unit impulse signal we will get unit step signal. When this is true the inverse of this will also be true. That means when we differentiate unit step signal will get unit impulse signal and this is the relationship between unit impulse signal and unit step signal. The second part of this is let us now see the relation between unit step signal and unit ramp signal. This is how the unit step signal is defined. The value of unit step signal is equal to 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 and it is 0 for t less than 0 and we all know integration of 1 with respect to t will be equal to t and integration of 0 will always be equal to 0. So let us now try and put integration on this signal to obtain its relation with unit ramp signal. So when I put integration on this unit step signal with a limit t such that when I am integrating it and t is less than 0, when t is less than 0, the value of the function is 0. So the integration will also be equal to 0. When t is greater than or equal to 0, the value of the function is 1. So when we integrate it with respect to time, we will get t. Now this is the result that we obtain after applying integration on a unit step signal. And this integration that we have applied is with a limit till t. Now this can also be related to the definition of the unit ramp signal. Unit ramp signal is given as t for t greater than or equal to 0 and it is equal to 0 for t less than 0. So this is the definition that we have for unit ramp signal. So this function is equal to rt. Therefore when we integrate unit step signal we get unit ramp signal. So the result of the above analysis is when we integrate unit step signal with a limit t so that when t is less than 0 the result
result is 0 and when t is greater than or equal to 0, the result that we get is t. The function that it represents is r of t. When this is true, the inverse of this will also be true. That means when we differentiate r of t, we will get u of t. And this then defines the relationship between unit step signal and unit ramp signal. So ultimately, the relation that we have between continuous time unit impulse signal, unit step signal and unit ramp signal is when we integrate unit impulse signal, we get unit step signal and when we integrate unit step signal, we get unit ramp signal. The further integration of unit ramp is also possible after which we get a parabolic signal. I don't want to go into detail of parabolic signal and the reverse is also true. When we differentiate unit ramp signal, we get unit step signal and when we differentiate unit step signal, we get unit impulse signal and this is how the relationship is. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please hit on the like button and subscribe.